This is Michael Lustgarten, PhD. His most recent biological age is 34.7, which is more than 17 years younger than his chronological age. A feat that rivals the likes of Brian Johnson and Dave Pasco, who are spending a lot more money to improve their health and slow aging. He attributes his youthful biological age to consistent testing, meticulous tracking, and using the data to drive decision making on how best to tweak his longevity routine. This is what he believes is the secret sauce for longevity because it's working for him and many others. After chatting with Michael, here's a summary of what I've learned about his health and longevity approach. Michael's diet is designed to provide maximum nutrient density, emphasizing whole and minimally processed foods. He is meticulous about his diet, weighing and tracking his food to make sure he's intaking proper amounts of macro and micronutrients, as well as fiber, and to make sure he's in a roughly 10% caloric deficit. Following a similar mantra to Brian Johnson, for every calorie he consumes must fight for its life. His macronutrient breakdown is roughly 18% protein, 38% net carbohydrates, and 40-45% to fat. He describes his diet as pescatarian, often consuming the following foods. Canned sardines, which are a potent and economic source of omega-3s and niacin, key for brain and cardiovascular health. Sardines are one of the primary protein sources for Michael, but he does occasionally consume eggs and meat, including red meat. Colored greens, he makes sure he eats his greens. These are packed with lutein, zeaxanthin, and fiber to support vision and gut health. He also often makes a cooked mix which contains a nutrient-dense medley of collard greens, chickpeas, turmeric, mustard powder, and other spices designed to combat inflammation and support longevity. Parsweet, a potential CD38 inhibitor to support cellular health. Beets, which contain nitric oxide boosters for better circulation and biomarker optimization. Carrots and red bell peppers, which are higher carotenoids, promoting skin and immune health. Frozen strawberries, a whopping 500 grams per day. Strawberries are antioxidant rich and are a smoothie essential. Nuts and seeds, a daily blend of all, a daily blend of almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, Brazil nuts, and more for healthy fat and micronutrients. He often consumes these right when he wakes up. It's worth noting that Michael avoids ultra processed foods. He also adjusts his diet based on his latest blood test data to maintain peak health. In terms of exercise, Michael has a rather unique approach. The uniqueness is because he performs the same 90 minute workout two to three times per week, depending on his body's stress levels to make sure he's not overtraining. He determines stress levels by measuring his heart rate variability and resting heart rate. During his workouts, he prioritizes compound movements such as overhead presses, clean and jerks, and pull-ups. Michael aims for consistency in the number of repetitions and weight he can perform for each exercise, striving to resist any age-related decline. He describes his routine as a 90-minute mentally and physically challenging cardio workout consisting of circuit training. He also incorporates mobility, balance, and stretching into his workouts. Michael takes a very minimalist approach to supplementation when comparing to other notables in the field such as Brian Johnson. Michael prefers addressing deficiencies with whole food and only then using supplements when necessary. His three key supplements include vitamin D. Since he lives in the northeastern part of the USA, Michael gets minimal sunlight exposure in the winter, which is apparent in his blood work. Nicotinic acid to optimize NAD plus levels for cellular energy and, and topical sulforaphane for oral microbiome health. It's important to reiterate that he uses data to guide his supplement decisions. Michael understands the importance of sleep for health and longevity. Like many aspects of his longevity protocol, his sleep routine is a work in progress. He recently shifted his eating window to an earlier in the day, typically by 1 p.m., to improve his sleep quality. He 
He also avoids consuming liquids in the afternoon and evening and during the night. He uses earplugs and blackout shades to minimize noise and light disruption while sleeping. He also tries to have a consistent room temperature and humidity levels. He avoids mental stressors that might hinder his ability to fall asleep, such as working on an academic task too close to bedtime. He also uses the Whoop device to track his sleep duration, quality, and the number of nighttime awakenings. Michael primarily mitigates stress through lifestyle choices that prioritize rest and recovery. He tries to avoid unnecessary stressors as much as possible, such as minimizing commuting to work by living close to his place of employment. While he doesn't practice meditation or breathing techniques, he does find stress relief by focusing on enjoyable activities, such as analyzing data, creating YouTube videos, and spending time with his child. It's worth noting that working on his longevity and sharing it with an audience gives Michael a great purpose in life, which the Japanese call Ikigai, a characteristic that is strongly tied to living a long and healthy life. While Michael has tried various other interventions, such as red light therapy, ice baths, and saunas, he hasn't found that any of them have made a significant impact on his biomarkers, at least the ones that he's checking. The secret sauce to Michael's low biological age and health is consistent data tracking and analysis. He prioritizes biomarkers that have a demonstrated link to all-cause mortality risk rather than relying solely on standard reference ranges. He analyzes trends in his biomarkers data over time, looking for patterns of improvement, stability, and age-related decline. Here are some of the tests and tracking that he regularly does. Blood panel. Up to eight times per year, he gets a standard chemistry panel, including a complete blood count, basic metabolic panel, lipid levels, and C-reactive protein. He regularly tests heart rate variability and resting heart rate, which averaged around 63 and 42 last year, respectively. True Diagnostics Dunedin Pace Testing, an epigenetic clock that an epigenetic clock test that estimates speed of aging and is the surrogate for biological age. This is a test used by all contestants in Brian Johnson's Rejuvenation Olympics. Yola Metabolite Testing, which measures over 600 advanced biomarkers of metabolic, heart, and gut microbiome health. NAD levels, a test to determine blood NAD levels, which decline naturally during aging and oral microbiome testing using the Bristol Oral Health Test. While he has developed a comprehensive tracking system, he remains open to incorporating new metrics and technologies as they emerge. As you can see, Michael isn't just guessing his way to longevity. Every bite he eats, every rep he lifts, and every supplement he takes is informed by rigorous data analysis and biomarker tracking. While his lifestyle may not be for everyone, his methodical approach offers a roadmap and tidbits that anyone can follow to extend their healthy years. If you want to hear more about Michael's approach, check out my full interview with him or watch these videos to see what other trailblazers in the field are doing.